Good morning, everyone. This is Ryan Lowell from Message Ops and Champion Solutions Group. And what I wanted to show you this morning was a brief demonstration of our Team Captain workflow. This is a companion app that we've built in Microsoft Power Automate to go along with our Team Captain team management portal. So, as many of you know, Team Captain is our portal for monitoring, managing, and reporting on your team's usage within your organization. This workflow is a companion app to allow your users to request team creation. A lot of organizations are limiting uh, the number of users within the organization that are able to create teams, and that's putting a big burden on IT to be the ones who go and create the teams manually. What this workflow does is allows your users to request a team in a very simple, easy to, to use way. The approval process goes to your IT team or to your approvers within your organization. If they approve the team that's been requested, then the team is created automatically. So I wanted to show you what that looks like today. So we've built this, as I mentioned, in Microsoft Power Automate and using Microsoft Forms for the users to submit and in Microsoft Teams for the approvals to flow through. So what I'll do is I'll show you. We're going to create a test team here. We're going to give it a brief description. I'm going to put in the username of my team owner, who I want to be the owner of this new team that's going to be created. Just have my little test uh, user there. We're going to choose whether the team should be a private or a public team. In this case, I want to request a private team. We're going to choose whether the members of the team should be allowed to edit the team. Things like creating channels, apps, tabs, connectors within the team. Team owners can always control that type of content, but this is requesting whether or not the members of the team should be able to do that. And in this case, we want a fairly locked down team, so we're going to say false. And then, should members be able to edit and delete their messages inside of that team? Uh, whether we want that accountability for whatever people write in there to be permanent, or whether they should be able to delete their messages. So we don't want them to be able to do that either. So we're going to click Submit on the Microsoft form, and this is what the end user who wants a new team would do. And that's it. That's all that they need to do. Now we're going to see a couple things happen because of that uh, thing being submitted. So I'm going to hop over to Microsoft Teams here, and within a couple of seconds, we should see the new team request come in. All right, so we just saw the new team creation request. So this is within our, we'll call it our IT team. The request has appeared. You can see some of the information has been summarized. The person who requested the team the team name, the description, who the owner of the team will be. So we can go in here and click on Process Approval very easily. This is going to hop us into Power Automate, and it's going to open up the approval that uh, is required for that team. Let me actually zoom in a little bit here so you can see it. So we can see here's our approval over on the right-hand side with some details. We can choose to approve it, reject it, or reassign it for someone else to do that approval process. So we're going to approve we're going to say, test team looks good, enjoy using it, and we're going to confirm. All right, so that approval has been submitted, and we're going to see back in Microsoft Teams, within just a couple of seconds, that team has now been created. Not only that, but in addition to the new team being created, I, as the person who requested the team, have gotten a notification back from our Microsoft Flow saying my team request was approved, and here are the comments uh, from the person who approved it. So in this case, I'm both the submitter and the approver, but we can actually uh, have that flow to whoever you'd like. So our team's been created now, and if we go into the management of the team, we can see that our member permissions have been set accordingly. All these uh, settings to uh, allow the members to create and update channels, delete and restore channels have been unchecked for us automatically, so those settings are pre-populated. I, as the uh, requester, have been set as the team owner, and now I can start inviting people to my team and populating it with content. So that's the base workflow, and it works very, very well. We've gone through about five versions of this. This has been tested out. 
we can very easily uh, drop this into a uh, customer's environment and get them very fast up and running to have their users start requesting teams and going through approval. Now the flow itself is also very customizable. So we give you this flow as one of our team captain customers uh, and give you the base functionality that we've built here. But this, because it's built in Power Automate, is extremely customizable. We can add in multiple steps of approval if you want the approval of a team to go to more than one person or go through more than one level of approval. We can limit the number of people who are permitted to create a team or to uh, re even request the team. We can build in custom templates for your team. If you want particular channels or particular content or apps within that team, we can use Power Automate to have that team appear in your environment already pre-customized for your team. We can change the naming conventions of the team. So when you're generating teams, it's uh, doing that in a way where the naming will be consistent throughout your organization. So there's so much more that we can do. Power Automate is extremely flexible. Now, those types of customizations would be on top of the base format. So we would uh, work with you for a couple of hours to make sure this is customized exactly to how you want your teams to flow into your organization. So I hope that helps. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us here at Champion. Be happy to answer anything that you'd like to know. So take care, everyone, and uh, we hope you enjoy using the tool.